I'm Chris Chanuski, I'm Curriculum Director of Science at the College and I've been at the College for around about six years now. So roughly a student's timetable will be about 20 hours worth of learning with the teacher. However, that's not where the learning stops. Also, students are given homeworks and tasks to do, for example, presentations, write-ups and all these things um, to do at home as well. When it comes to the A-levels themselves, A-levels are from a syllabus which is not made by the college, they're made by exam boards, so for example, OCR, AQA or Edexcel, and the exam comes at the end of two years. At, at the end of that two years, the students take an exam and that is marked by the exam board and their grade is given. At the end of the first year, they do an internal exam whereby they can get feedback from the college more specifically as to how to improve. And that feedback is what um, we're based on really at the college. Hi everyone, my name is Harith. I'm doing the A-level course here at Gas London and my subjects are chemistry, physics and maths. I think A-level helped me a lot because when you study a subject, you study it in real depth and because I'm planning to do, to do engineering in university, uh, I was able to do physics and I explored a lot of concepts that are going to help me to get into what I want to do. So I'm really happy that I'm doing A-level because it enabled me to apply to, the, some, to some universities in the UK and I've received offers from them, for example, City University and Queen Mary. Hi, my name is Luisa. I come from Brazil and I'm studying A-level and my subjects are math, business and economics. The most exciting thing I learned this year was to be more independent and uh, learn how to, I learned how to uh, study by myself and be more organized. If you consider studying A-levels, the most important thing is to think about what you want to do in the future because the A-levels that you pick will govern where you want to go in the future. So, for example, if you wanted to do something scientific based, if you wanted to do medicine, you would want to pick scientific A-levels. If you wanted to go into management, you would pick business, -y, economics, psychology type A-levels. The key thing is to think about what happens after. That is number one. Number two is when considering A-levels, you need to really think about the the actual how much you enjoy those subjects because that might actually base a lot of things on because with that subject you're not only just going to be doing the subject in the classroom you're going to be doing the subject around the classroom you're going to be doing the subject at home you're going to be researching things about the subject it needs to be something that you're passionate about because that will motivate you to get the work done so as at the end of the exams you are motivated to get the best grade you can.